Uh, hello. I am Dylan Cambrum, as most of you know me. It's just Dylan, and I took a philosophy class in this stupid fucking year of 2021 as a senior in his normal ass calculus class, which was quite fun and quite interesting. This is from the last day of school. We were going over quotes he said in class throughout the year. Just stupid shit he said. Funny shit he said. Um, I think it was made by Adam. I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't remember much. Anyways, hope you enjoy this. I'm going to split into two parts. Second part will come pretty much right after the first one. But I, I don't know. Just 36. No, actually, it was like, what, 50 minutes of footage. It seems kind of a... Bit too much, so I think 36 is even a bit too much as well. But uh, fuck it, am I right? It, it's funny, it's enjoyable to watch. Um, you don't have to even understand the context of the class to enjoy it. I made it for the people in the class. I don't know, it was just funny. I just, you know, constantly just look back on in like years. I don't know, man. Funny class, it just kind of reflected over the whole year. I didn't learn much in this class. <laughs> I don't think anyone really paid too much attention. That's fine, because Fosh should be chill. And it was just, just the last period of, well, my entire Bellman career, I guess. And yeah, I guess that's something interesting. So here, fucking enjoy the video. I'll shut up now. Also, the, new, the new format of the power school is awful. It is so bad. I literally, it took me in my second period class 12 minutes to log attendance. That's how slow the thing is. And it's because it just pretends all you want to see is graphs that don't matter. Just tons of worthless graphs. I'm like, ladies, please acknowledge that people are here. Uh, and let's just keep going through these. Hold on a sec here. I swear I'm going to be a four-year university or something. Uh, I don't really know what that means. I'm just going to tell all the uh, remote guys that don't have to show up. Okay. <laughs> That's good. How are you the bottom of the screen? I think maybe one of you could start with something. You started the class. You're going to do it like a whole class. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unholy obsession with uh, Germans in this uh, in this quote log. Probably German. Most things in math are German. That's just a true statement. I was a big fan of this. Uh, just these two words lodged together, satanically unusable. I think that's a good, good version of this. Uh, I'm trying to discern whether or not I put the spaces here, or whoever logged that put the spaces. You locally put the spaces. So, is that how I wrote it? That's how you said it, right? How do you say it like that? How, how do I say it like that? Say it slower. Funky. 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 Yeah, that'd be like funk space Y. <laughs> I could see myself writing uh, F U N U Y Y in spaces, though. I could see I mean, myself. This is a long time ago, so. Yeah. <laughs> I just showed you a really close and intimate level how funky it can be. <laughs> we were doing traditional limits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's. I was like, when would I have ever said this? I looked at the date and I was like, ah, limits. <laughs> Uh, exactly. I think a lot of you got triple stacks of fractions, which caused some <laughs> aneurysms, which they do. God bless my third grade at engineering solutions, also known as engineering solutions. Uh, for those of you who went to engineering school, note that the dude who's like dual wielding Apple watches and has like five monitors doesn't know anything. Uh, just know that the dude who's always trying really hard to over engineer whatever is taking place is the dumbest man in the world. Just you should always know that, just for future reference. Ah, it took me 35 minutes to solve, and by the end of it, I wanted to die. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. I think I have said, I think I've said this statement every year of teaching. Every single year of teaching, I think I've said this statement. I think even when I had the two of you for Algebra 2, two years ago, I made this joke. Brain time listed. I still love how this is the same surface going strong. It was the one that I've had to literally like tie ice packs to the back to. That was impressive.
Yeah, that was pretty funny. It was like some oh, random. Five degrees of punctuality was fine. You're missing the good stuff. You gotta sanitize your hands. Oh, yeah. Full pump. Full pump. Full pump. All the way down. Yeah! So wet. Those caps are standing there for a minute. I don't know. Yes, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, just, I just tend to put random diacritics all over the stuff in my solutions and notes, and I think this was the first instance of that by far. I love how we're not even done with September. <laughs> no, we're still in September. Uh, by the way, it's very clear based on these slides. I, I think I had a rough October. October was uh, <laughs> October is where things really went downhill for this class. Now I have to blame Tim Cook, and that's not really as fun. Uh, so sad. We don't have to get the logic of German people at this, and we never should. Uh, the reason I was mecha Hitler. Uh, you know, we're in October with Hitler. That's always a good start. <laughs> National Hitler. <laughs> Kerner. Hans Kerner. I want to de mess up everything with his uh, friend Johannes Kirsten. <laughs> More Germans, take it over the Germans from the 18th century, our friends Johann and Hans. If I ask you how I'm doing on the day of the test, and the answer is probably very poorly if you see that it's multiple choice. <laughs> so, I've never given a multiple choice test here, and if I ever do, my students should immediately know that I'm thinking about quitting my job, and I'm probably hungover because I'm thinking about quitting my job. <laughs> that is the only time I would ever give a multiple choice test for mathematics. Have you done it before, though? So no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they now go into the back of the slideshow. Say again? Does that quote right there go in the back of the slideshow? Oh, maybe it's saying yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I think that's what Joe did in fourth period. We're <laughs> <laughs> not going to do today's class time because, frankly, I don't want to do so. Yeah, the, uh, sometimes there was times where we'd have 65 minutes. I'm like, I'm just not using 65 minutes. It's not happening today. You unlock a dimension type portal thing and you get to go to Wonderland. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Stuff happens, you get answers. Not it's great, it great. <laughs> Still trying to figure out if I actually just said it great or if the S was dropped. I like it better without the S. I'm going to turn off my camera so you don't have to look at my sweaty forehead. The amount of boomer forehead I get in uh, staff meetings here is the most brutal thing that exists because there will just be. You know, just every teacher over 50 violates this rule aggressively. They leave their cameras on, and it's just like, you know, you watch a dude just like, you know, scratching his beard, just like playing with something. It's like, dude, turn your camera off. Jesus Christ. It's so bad. But then again, I don't remember doing a lot of it. And if we're on, we're on October 2nd, and October is just going to keep getting more and more. All of that more been two days. No, it's October 5th. It's October 5th. Yeah, there we go. You were going for it. Which is I, a German I like song. how these two quotes are right back to back. I gotta lay out the peyote, and I don't remember a lot of things this week. These are all right next to That's a bad sign. Yeah, this, uh, yes. this, this was when the stream was just bugging out 24-7. Yeah, that was one of my favorite classes. <laughs> that was the first time we saw your background, Lord Farquaad. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was like flashing. It was this all like, <laughs> Yeah, it's still uh, yeah. October 2nd. This, this was the guy who got a 10 on the explanation, but this is how he spelled derivate. And uh, the funniest thing was my first thought was like that this just looks like a terrible Spanish word, like biravate. <laughs> Which then, it was funny, I made that joke uh, in fourth period, and then it leads right into this. Conjugate. <laughs> it's like a Spanish word. Because I obviously had the exact same thought the first time I saw it back on October 2nd. Still on October 2nd. Please tell me what enlightenment looks like when you get there. What's the context? No idea. Finally figured out how to use this old, new version of Power School that I hate. I still hate using it. We have finally reached the context. Now remember the focus. This is when we actually learned how to use Power Wire. That's what it was. We got out of limits. This doesn't exist because of German people, so you can go blame them. <laughs> Historically, part of my French, you'll have to do this bullshit. So, by the way, I finally figured out what it was. Whoever put this in here, they meant to put in, not and. Because I was reading through this and I was trying to figure out what the hell could this possibly have meant if it's an and and not an in. Because I had two haircuts and a trench coat pretending to be a haircut. That doesn't make any sense, but I had two haircuts in a trench coat pretending to be hair. 
that actually makes some contextual sense. So there's driving in the map for about three minutes. The second way of writing this looks like hell on wheels. Spooky versions <laughs> with magic. By definition of cool is not one you should take into account, considering the fact that I enjoy watching bowling and golf, which is probably just a true statement. We're still in October. I blame Bill Gates as an individual because it's very easy to do. <laughs> I think the best thing is we might get the Bill Gates heel timeline again, and I'm really excited because Bill <coughs> Gates has just been hanging out with pimps and shit since he got divorced. Like, he's just been going off the rails, and if we get, like, crazy, chaotic, evil Bill Gates, I'm going to be so excited. <laughs> or he's just doing John McAfee stuff. Like, he buys Barbados and is just, like, getting drunk and making, like, TikToks. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> I want that Bill Gates. Not the dude who's, like, in a sweater vest pretending to, like, save Africa. Fuck that. I want the evil <laughs> We're going to use my Sesame Street crayon drawing to estimate the things technology could never give me. I don't know what this is in reference to, but this sounds like me. You guys can hang out, and Mr. Valera can continue to serenade you with J-pop deep cuts. What did I say this? Say again? What did I say this? No, this was me saying this to your small group you were blasting something oh. as you guys had finished into the uh, team chat. Because it was, I think, when you two guys were in the same group. Yeah. No, Bill Gates, it's actually not because they're shitty products. You can't self integrate themselves because they can't. You can't actually. I like the aggressive lack of apostles. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not because. I really need to spike this. <laughs> I remember that one. We're still in October. <laughs> still in October. October was rough. So soon as we I'm hit with it. I'm going to pick a different pick on a different nationality today, so I'm going to pick on the Russians. <laughs> and while it may seem we are being very lazy, which we are, there is a reason for it. Apparently Adam of Havilis stole this as his Europe. <laughs> there are many metric metrics to which I am evil, but I will never give you the kosher rule of price, <laughs> which I never have. Now, this is still on the same day. Uh, I will not pass the sentence, but I am ultimately beholden to the will of Rome. Conscious pilot will decide. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's uh, that's unsurprising, man. Elite bamboozled. Uh, what does that reference do? Don't know. We have half the CPM problem. It's missing the third epic name, Satoshi <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope I I Francesca, Chin Ho, and Daquan are working at the game now. It's like, come on, man. And I get it, like, yeah, we're being hip and inclusive. I'm like, you're just making people look at the problem and go, what the hell? That's what they're doing. Same shit, Lamar. Uh, apparently, I left this in one of the master notes. I tried to use that, that master notes to study for a test. Well, the thing was, this, the problem was left somewhere else in a different master note, so that's what I wrote to myself. But I was going to change it with, you know, just reference previous, you know, thing, and then I just forgot to change that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, trust students to manipulate the system you're in. Uh, this was when I uh, was pissed off about meeting with other teachers. They're like, do you think that the kids are cheating this year? I was like, oh boy, <laughs> was my first thought there. And they're like, yeah, you know, that's that's fine. We're having a great time here. <laughs> there, that's my holy ethical wisdom for today. That just sounds like every day. <clears throat> there would be, how else would I put it? Shit everywhere. We have this really grody chunk here. I don't know what reference to either. I like how all of this is pre-Thanksgiving. We haven't even got to Thanksgiving yet. As the kids would say, eat this step into oblivion. You guys have the problem? Like, I think I got mad at one of my classes. I don't remember which one it was that I said this to, but, uh, or I said this to a small group. It has group. to be a small group. It has yeah. to be a small group. That's outstanding. Yeah, this has to be, a, actually, I'm trying to think, this has to be a I small group then. I don't think it would have been Adams because he had, uh, who did he have in? He had like Kurosh. Kurosh. <laughs> oh god, right, that's when he was in the complete shit show group. When I, uh, <laughs> just randomized things and kind of saw that one, and I was like, oh, here, nothing's getting done with this. <laughs> Yeah, that, that has to be the context for it. 
this calc B C D F whatever the name of these things these days. Like physics one A P when it used to be physics B still mad. So I, I like how the second um, I left the Bay Area, my behavior got better. Just December, we're just on fire. We're just going better. We're just doing well. Uh, January, uh, January, we're doing good. We're off to a hot start. And then the second we come back to the remote learning environment, everything falls apart. Uh, this is a little too Chinese Communist Party for me. Uh, that's in reference to the fact that there's a camera here and a camera there. It is just a little sus. Sus? Uh, it's like I'm in a bad hack room that I don't know how anything works in reference to this tech setup I finally figured out. Bill Gates, stop actually using microbots. That has aged poorly, seeing how bad I felt this week. Direct. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. D right. <laughs> the worst part about this one is when I went to the CPM pre calc training. I spent 45 minutes reasoning to myself who DREC could have been, instead of actually figuring out how to teach the chapter in the textbook they were going over. Because they were in, you know, it's one of those CPM lessons where you have like an empty Coke can, dried spaghetti, like a live butterfly, or whatever the, this weird lesson they want to take three days for, where it's like supposedly interactive or whatever. Uh, and I just missed all of it, focusing on the name The Wreck, who eventually I settle on is an orc. <laughs> the only way that works. I want to find the German guy who named U and V and beat him with <laughs> uh, Yeah, U and V are the same uh, English, uh, they're the same, what's it called, letter in the English language until about 1550. So why, the, why they chose that, I don't know. Let's pick a letter like Enyang. Yang. Uh, yeah, there was a dude who just got off on using bad variables. Like, he would use like the actual pound symbol. Not like a hashtag, but like British sterling pound. <laughs> just stuff like that as his variable name a few years ago. Uh, because he could, and it was highly low. Uh, let's take a look at a mind pump. <laughs> Another one that's probably going to give you shit. I don't know if I ever made the particular reference that uh, Daddy Gavin still has me tied to the radiator because I said that one to my yeah, other class yeah, periods a lot. Yeah, yeah. And finally, you know, finally letting me out for some beer at some point. You know, just the Jesus Christ. And the best part is this is a week ago because I had a day with my seventh period class where they had missed all of my like rant days because usually. Uh, I would actually have a real day with my seventh period class and then get to like second period and just give up uh, the next day. So they actually missed a lot of these. So they've got a lot of their good quotes in here. Uh, I am the department. That's a true statement. I'm the only Catholic English one allowed to do this. I am not dad enough to do that because uh, I'm still 27. I don't have big dad energy yet. Can't uh, that, was the, that was the, 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 the comment about wearing uh, long shorts. Yeah, basically. It just can't, can't get there yet. And I feel like if I am there, uh, that's probably going to be a bad sign. It's going to be a bad sign. The phone sign on the belt. That was the important part. <laughs> <laughs> the phone on the belt. Yeah. The phone on the belt. It's the holster. <laughs> the <laughs> the holster. holster. Yeah, the holster. You know, maybe you <laughs> still got a pager. It doesn't do anything, but you still got the pager. Yeah. What, what was a pager? What? It told you someone was calling you, pretty much. Yeah, it was basically like bad caller ID. Uh, and if we, like, you could also do kind of like bad text with it. So, was it like in re not a, in replacement of a phone, but was it like the equivalent of a phone? Like, did it come before the phone? It was. It was kind of like the proto cell phone. <clears throat> it told you that your phone in your pocket was ringing. So no, it no, it told you the phone in your house is ringing, right? Yeah, that, yeah. The phone in your house is ringing. You would carry it around with you. Oh, your house. Okay, so that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Right, so it was kind of like you would still use your landline to do everything, yeah. but the pager would kind of let you know what was taking place on your landline at any given point in time. And I, I, now very few people even, I think, bother having landlines. These industrial air filters are just a flex on the floor. Which, by the way, these are. These things are expensive. Yeah, I did the math on how much it would have cost to put one of these in every classroom. It was about $58,000. Holy wow. shit. Assuming, assuming we have 50 classrooms, which I think is about how many classrooms we have. Dropping stacks, man. Yeah, it probably got a good deal or something. There's no way they spent that much. Buy in bulk. Yeah, buy in bulk. They did a Costco. Air conditioning is Costco. Uh, I think this quote was in reference to me making fun of kids who look like they're 12, uh, who show up as freshmen. You just kind of look at them like, did you get lost on the way to middle school? Uh, which there's unfortunately some freshmen who show up where you just look at them like, oh man, that is 
that's you, there's not an testosterone in your body yet, <laughs> not even a single one, and you just you just you just feel bad. Uh, yeah, when it comes to carrying uh, yes. chairs, uh, <laughs> it should just be sophomores. It should always be I sophomores. This lesson. <laughs> <laughs> this lesson, yes. Uh, this was uh, this was me describing my seventh grade class the first time I had, had ever heard the penis game be played in my classroom. Uh, where basically it was just you know this one annoying uh, or these two annoying guys who I knew were going to do something eventually. I hear the really low just kind of. I hear the first one, because it was just somewhere like here. And I couldn't tell what it was, but I'm like, please don't tell me that's what I think that is. Then I hear like the like, same volume from like in the back corner of the next guy, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. And I was in the middle of trying to explain something important. And then like this kid who never said anything, like, you know, super quiet, was like very studious, just got like penis. <laughs> just got like, you know, into it, was just like looking at me too, like, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, wow, it begins. Uh, this is what we used to do to our uh, dean or anyone speaking, and your students, was they would start up, so anyway, today's mass, and you just hear cat noises from everywhere in the gym or wherever we were when someone was trying to just make any important speech. So anyway, we're going to have the ice cream social. And you would just hear shit like that just echoing throughout the gym. Uh, this was me describing the type of kids who show up to math club, because uh, that's just. <laughs> so I don't. I don't want to know what quadratic formula tastes like. I, don't, I, I can't imagine it tastes like. Oh, that's no. it. Uh, if you have a class where no one knows what the fuck's going on, it shouldn't exist. I think this was in reference to the fact that like most people who take the paper take these. Uh, that's a fail. Like, I, I want to say if you pass it, like, if you get higher than a 50%, I think you get a 5. Yeah. I think that's actually yeah. how the metrics are that way. Most people, like, do. I think he's like, you know, like, you see, like, things on that. He's swimming with his nose out of the water right now. He's barely alive. He's very, 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 He's like, good at that. I don't I don't know. Remember what the context for this was at all? I can't. I can't even back May thirteenth. May thirteenth. Everything. May thirteenth. I still. I still got nothing here. Uh, for the reference, this was this was inferred by Adam. I don't think I actually spelled out suck in capitals. Two C's. Uh, which is in reference to when you give a test and everyone fails it. This was my first thought, which is wow, did I just suck at my job this week? And you know, you get a whole bunch of kids who get like a D on something or something along those lines. Uh, this is a true statement. I officially judge all of you based on your extra extracurricular. You know are extracurricular? Uh, probably not because I haven't seen you guys in them around here, but I definitely do this. <laughs> like I, I have like a I just there's like people in extracurriculars, I'm like, huh, oh, you're one of these people, great. <laughs> I, I do that. I do that to all of you. That's just, just how it is. What's your opinion on Meat Club? Asking for a friend. On Meat Club? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, people grilling? That's fine. That works. Yeah. All right, fine. Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee. Opinions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that bad, huh? I would say ultimate, ultimate Frisbee is just like, to me, it's, it's kind of like the curling of high school sports. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I think about ultimate. <laughs> wow. Just, just, just Shit. like I see it. Yeah. Oh, like, just killed me and Aaron. Okay. All right. I, I, All right. Just, that's just that's just what I think about it. It's like it's like frisbee, but you can't. It's like you can't tackle anyone. You can't run with the thing. It's like all the fun parts of it, all of what, what should be the game, just aren't there. You like running? Wait, you like, can run? Like, yeah, you still can. But <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, like playing hockey, except yeah. where you get the puck and you have to stop and look for someone open. Like it's just I don't get it. And there's no fight. Yeah, you, you can't just decide to go truck the guy who's just holding the, you know, frisbee. You know, it's only a foul if they catch you. See, I would watch that, like, you didn't unload the frisbee fast enough, someone could just, like, grab you by, like, the shirt collar and just chuck you to the ground and rip it out of your hand. I'd watch it then. Yeah, yeah if somebody's, like, diving out for a frisbee and, like, camp jumps or cuts and takes your head off, like, that would be fun to watch. That'd be fun to watch. Three safeties and you see how many people go. The funniest part is, at this point, uh... 
it's so sad. Or actually, this is a great thing. We <coughs> clearly don't recruit athletes anymore uh, because there was some guys who went here right, who were just dumb as shit. Like they were just bricks of human beings. Uh, and you would ask yourself, like, why do you get to go here? And then you look at the JV football results. Like they ran for 234 yards against St. Francis. I'm like, oh, that's why you go here. And that was very clear. So like a lot of the athletes who go here now actually like have some academic performance tied to it, which is great. Uh, the people I judge the most by far are speech and debate kids and senior kids. Wow. It's a uh, it's speech. If I was gonna make like a tier list, I don't have a tier list, but like on my last tier is specifically the debate portion of speech and debate, and like those theater kids, and everyone knows exactly who those kids are. Just like the type of people where it's like they just start like randomly singing for no reason and they like want you to join or like validate it. And you're looking at them and it's like a free Evan and Denny's, so like let me eat my pancakes and peace. <laughs> One of those things. Yeah, like, uh, I have a question for Hangover. What's the longest duration of time you've been without sleep? Longest duration of time you've been sleep? Maybe like 48 hours? Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be the entire month of October. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, based, based on those responses, I would believe that. It was like, that was the funniest thing going through this. So the first time it was like just October. I'm like, oh, October was a meltdown of a month. Just based on the uh, quality of my statements. And you can tell there's like there's like good times. There's like January, nothing. Like places, you know, December, relatively decent. And then it just slowly kind of falls off the rails after a certain point. Yeah, so the uh, people who get judged the most in my class is just, you know, theater kids and the debate people in speech. Like, that's, that's how you do it. Like even with sports, like most sports are tolerable. Like there's tool sports and those are fine. Like lacrosse, tool sport, just saying it. It's, it's a tool sport. Okay. Uh, hockey, tool sport, golf, tool sport, tennis, tool sport. I play a tool sport, so I'm a lot of other tool sports. And that's just how they are. Then you get sports like basketball, where it's just like, I find basketball boring as shit. Uh, basketball players never say anything to me, so I have very neutral opinions about you know, basketball in general. You like playing in the sand? Playing in the sand. Long jump? Uh, I actually have, I don't think I've known anyone who's ever done long jump. It's nice to know. I, don't, I have no opinions on long jump. Okay, cool. Uh, I liked the dudes who did uh, all the track and field throwing events uh, in high school. Those were just my friends who were over everyone's shit. <laughs> I just, like, just had my friend who's like 6'4", like 300, who just go like casually, just eat a shot put, like, you know, un unrealistically far amount because he was bored. So I like the throwing sports. Uh, I find track just fundamentally boring like it's probably really fun to do if you're good at it but I could never watch a track meet it's like hey they're running and that's just what you do for 34 minutes and that's great right. probably the same thing to like watch you turn it's good probably the same thing for like watching a swim meet especially like a long distance event where it's like wow they turned around again wow the one dude is still ahead swimming in general seems like it sucks out well, obviously, well, obviously, it's fun if you're competing. <laughs> I goes for like every sport almost. It's like saying baseball is boring, but when you play it, it's fun. Like. <laughs> Baseball is nine innings of nothing. <laughs> 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 you're competing for like two minutes and the other nine hours of hanging out. I, I feel like for me, both baseball and soccer have a really high ceiling and a really low floor of entertainment value. Yeah. Like, I'll go watch like soccer games where it's like super dynamic, like, you know, tons of ball movement, super fun. And then you just watch games where it's like people punting the ball just in a variety of directions and like three dudes just run into it and all miss. And it's just so hard to watch. Like, bad soccer games are brutal. Uh, good soccer games are really fun to watch. Bad soccer games are brutal. Uh, baseball is much the same way, where it's like, if there's like a pitcher's rule or something going on, it's great. Uh, but if you're just watching a game where it's like, you know, 2-1, and nothing's happening, and everyone kind of sucks, it's hard to watch. If you don't have some guy named Mongo cranking one every time he steps up to the plate, I don't want to watch it. Uh, I, think, uh, I feel like baseball is... I think my favorite thing with baseball is... I 
like how baseball pretends they didn't have a steroid era? Like, yeah, we really do. We, we look at that with guilt. That was like the one time everyone liked baseball. Yeah, you just had like a bicep, just a singular bicep walking up with a bat and just like, just turning and hitting balls 500 feet. Where it's like some guy you've never heard of. Like, if you go back and look at like, tables from like the late 90s and early 2000s for home run totals, it is ridiculous. There are dudes you have never heard of who hit like 41 home runs in here. And you will never have heard of them. Like, ne like you will never even have heard of them in any capacity. And then they were just like, oh, you know, we gotta make sure to you know, get rid of all these guys now. Yeah. So sad. Yeah, and the funniest thing is, as someone who helps the robotics pro program, I also like to judge the robotics kids for just being such squares. Uh, and squares is really the keyword. And word firm. If, uh, like, if I took, like, every time I've taken the robotics kids places, I don't have to worry about them doing anything. <laughs> yeah. There was one time I was so mad when I drove to Bakersfield, and Bakersfield was a shithole. Bakersfield was awful. Well, uh, we drove there. It was a five and a half hour drive. It's got raising canes, though. It's all what? It's got raising canes. That's all it is. That's all it's it's probably I've never been to raising canes. I've been, I've been dying to go to raising canes. But I'm not going to be driving five and a half hours for a raising canes. It's good, you know. Like, it would be worth it. And like literally, <laughs> these kids did poorly at the Bakersfield competition because they stayed up all night playing Smash. Like that's how like it was just like, you know, if you had to chaperone a football trip, you'd have to worry about like, you know, guys vandalizing something while naked and drunk or something. And with, uh, you know, just the robotics guys like, yeah, we stayed up playing Smash. I'm like, until 5 a.m. and you had to leave here at 7. And then you're sitting there and you can't even drive the robot correctly. Yeah, I drove yeah. five hours here for this. What was that? It was, that was that time. That was like three years ago, I want to say. <laughs> and I wasn't even working for robotics at the time. I like, it isn't, he's up, uh, with, like, Mr. Chud, that he's still doing, was like, hey, can you just like take this over? I don't have time. I was like, fine. <laughs> and then I had to yell at the guy at like, the best western we checked into because he's like, your name doesn't appear to be Judnick Dan. I'm like, okay, hey, one, you keep saying that combination. Recognize that you have it backwards. Are you Judnick Dan? Like, whose name would literally be Judnick Dan? Like, no, I am not Judnick Dan. Um, I am the person who is replacing Dan Judnick and checking these people in. And he's like, well, since you're not Judnick Dan, I was like, I'm just going to kill this guy. <laughs> like, I just drove five and a half hours to Bakersfield to go to bed. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> like C tier people. Yeah, so, um, this is a true statement. This is a true statement. Uh, the, the kids who still play Melee scare the shit out of me. So I got that for uh, Christmas when I was six. Oh. I, I was six. You guys weren't even alive. And it's like a game where like seven characters are playable. People are just like, I still love this game. I'm like, I feel like if people still played, like what would be a random fucking game that doesn't even matter anymore? Paul uh, Hubert. Fortnite Hubert. Uh, 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 League of Legends. What, what is that? Mario Land 4. Yeah, Mario <laughs> Land 4. There was a still dedicated Mario Land 4 speed running community. Or something. Like, at least, at least with, like, the, you know, unwashed masses who play the most recent one, at least they updated. Oh, that game is slashed. Yep. I was wondering where all these anime basement goers suddenly came from. Then I saw they had a Smash thing going. This is still from the 13th. It's still from the 13th. This would be describing uh, basically having a master key at Santa Clara, so I worked for the event planning uh, office. Oh, so I could just get into any building I wanted, which was great. Uh, they shouldn't have given me those privileges. I would like break into the janitor's closets and like do homework, because no one would bug me. I could just sit there for like three hours interrupted and stuff like that. I had like roof access. There's a whole bunch of things I should not have had uh, with that key. But I went into this uh, kind of gym area, like broke myself in there, and it just smelled like death. I'm like, what the hell? And then I had recognized that they had just had a smash event in there. Oh, and it just oh. smelled like death. Like it smelled like when we do the freshman retreat. Here's the oh, oh, oh. retreat. Oh. By the way, the freshman retreat here for the, I don't know if any of you in here are big brothers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that smell in the classrooms <laughs> when they did it overnight is just one of the rankiest things that exists. We it is so year. bad. We were the last year they did it overnight. Were you the last of the overnight? Unfortunately. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I should have kept that. That was like part of it. The torture was part of it. I it was very like the torture was part of it. Yeah, I remember, like, I can't do this anymore, but I think, because when you guys were freshmen, that would have been, what back then, the 2017, 2017 was that first poem. Yeah, so it been, okay, so it was the year before that. 
I literally just fell asleep on the floor of this building, like as a 20 year old, a 20 year old or 22 year old. Brother, I literally could just do that. I just fell asleep, like no sleeping bag or anything, just on the cold hard floor. And there's no way in hell I could do that at this point. Right. 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 under a desk and a tree. Michael Young, no, that's um, Michael Young's little brother, and Ryan Fox, they were like, they were like neo Nazis with him, like giving your phone. <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, we went out to the quad and we do the YouTube lecture. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, it was like, oh, we got an Xbox yeah, in our room. I was like, what the hell's going on? It was uh, really funny because uh, I had Ryan Fox as a student when he was a, a big No, movie. not Ryan Fox. Say again? It's another Fox. Uh, this our Fox. Different Fox? Yeah. Oh. What is his name? Megan? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I English test that I'm supposed to take at two. Just go for it. Okay. Maybe. What am I supposed to take? What do you do? An English test. He said pass test. Uh, no, he didn't. I have. I think he... I have. I will have. I have. I have. I have. I have. This is the last one on here that Adam's really in. I hate you, man. <laughs> it's always funny. Like, they actually advertise the scent of what it is. If you look at, like, women's, like, IG products, like, oh, lemon lavender. And you look at, you know, what they sell to dudes, like, Arctic Breeze. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Mountain Rush. Gun. It's like, this just does <laughs> not have, like, they don't have, like, a real sense. And they all smell like the same thing. Yeah, Old Spice is Old Spice Africa one. That's an Africa like, Old Spice. Yeah. They, they, have have an old, they have a deodorant <laughs> called Africa. Like, that's the name of it. And I don't, like... <laughs> <laughs> what part of Africa does this smell like? <laughs> it just smells like all of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, his name was Patrick Fox. Ah, there we go. I had to go to my block contacts to find his name. Yeah, it, was, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was really funny though because what I always love when we did the overnight freshman retreat is like all of your juniors after having to do with a freshman, like or an entire evening, just become markedly more polite to adults, and it's the funniest thing I've ever watched. They just like come out the next morning, like, dude, I get it, I get it, fuck, <laughs> I get it, Jesus Christ. But it's like they just came out of dawn. Uh, that's why I, uh, we have to have the freshman retreat overnight again because that was good for the big brother because they would just kind of come out and fucking just strung out, like, oh, yes, yeah, that's is that how this works? Even just one day was, was a lot. When we did it, it was one day. Oh yeah, because when I did that with my uh, freshman homeroom two years ago, I was like, oh, yeah, wow, what? Yeah. I was trying to remember, did they have you guys come on? I was like, I was wondering if I could do it. I was like, 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 I was so oh many. Uh, yeah, this this was today uh, in fourth period when I was making fun of the oh, power wow. school system because this is the type of graphs it gives you when it's just taking forever to load, or it's just oh, inane wow. information. It's been logging about oh, what you've done, and you couldn't have any less, any less utility for it. <laughs>